Thanks for joining us at MWC 2023 in Barcelona, where we are talking to Ali Kafel. Ali is Senior Director for the Global TME Ecosystem at Red Hat. Ali, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Charlotte. Excited to be here. So Ali, new edition of MWC, what trends are you seeing this year? And tell us about how you see ecosystem dynamics evolving at the moment. Oh, there's a lot of excitement. I feel this is like pre-COVID era. Uh, the excitement compared to last year uh, is just very, very different. A lot of talk about uh, innovation, 5G, radio access networks, AI, ML. Uh, but I think the most important thing is the need for multi-vendor because solutions are getting very, very complex. So with, with Red Hat, the open is part of our DNA. So we create this uh, horizontal platform that is based on open source with uh, partner solutions running on it. So this really creates a model for customers to have innovation at the fastest rate possible, but at the same time have open solutions. So we're very, very excited about it. Uh, we made a lot of partner announcements this, uh, this uh, week and last week. Companies like Intel, Dell, and many others, and several of our other partners have also made announcements using Red Hat technologies with deployed customers. So it's very exciting. And one of the recent announcements is this new subscription model. So can you tell us more about it? Yes, yes. It's, it's very exciting for me as a partner uh, person. Uh, I'm delighted that we introduced a program that also made it easy for our partners. So prior to this announcement we made in, in February, uh, partners could get what was called not for resale subscription, NFR. But it was limited to each request was for one product, limited to X number of subscriptions, like 10 or 20. And with this new program, what we've done is with one SKU request, a partner can request partner subscription for all products. And they get for hundreds of subscription. So this allows them to very easily use our subscription at no cost uh, for uh, development, testing, POCs, which just makes it so much easier. And the nice thing is, although it's mostly self-support, for some partners, they can get support for free for up to five contacts. And if they want for more than five contacts, they pay a little bit of an incremental fee. So partners love this because now it allows them to create, to go on the Red Hat portal, request it, and get the subscription for all these products automatically and for hundreds of subscriptions. And of course, the Red Hat Summit coming up in May. What can we expect from your ecosystem? Oh, thank you. It's a, it's a very exciting event. This year, it's going to be in Boston. That's where I live. It's a beautiful time of the year to be in Boston. And at Red Hat Summit, although it's not specific to telco, uh, so therefore we'll have customers and partners from all industries, it's a great way for our telco customers and partners to connect, learn about new updates coming from Red Hat, new training, but also to connect with old friends and make new friends. And also this is the first year that Red Hat Summit and Ansible Fest will be combined together, all under one roof. So there will be a lot of Red Hatters there as well, a lot of our executives, a lot of our associates. So it's a great opportunity to really show up and enjoy a little bit of Boston, but also enjoy a little bit of getting to know each other and getting updates from Red Hat. Sounds very exciting indeed. Thank you very much, Charlie. Thank you. Thank you, Charlotte.